Hey guys, so today in front of me I have a machine that I'm really excited to show you because this is not your average run-of-the-mill lever espresso machine. This is a sort of one-of-a-kind modified machine. So if you watch Brian Kwan's YouTube channel, you may have seen this exact machine featured in one of his videos. This is called the Jian Yi lever machine and it's available via Taobao so you have to buy it from China and get it shipped over here in order to actually get your hands on it. Uh, but since Brian made that video, the owner of this machine has further modified it with this attachment here. So you can see here that you have your standard analog pressure gauge. And this is really common to see on uh, manual levers nowadays, something that's kind of been popularized by Flair. But you'll also see this sort of thing on La Pavonis and of course, this Gianni lever machine. What you won't see very often is this sort of thing. Um, so this is actually a custom modification that was made and designed by my friends Mike and Shay, and they call this a popsicle. And what this actually is, is a digital pressure transducer attached to a Bluetooth capable board that can then communicate with something like your iPad. And then you can use that iPad to track the pressure profile of the shot that you've pulled. And if your software is capable of it, you can also use something like this in Akaya Smart Scale to track your output flow. So this Popsicle pressure transducer is pretty similar conceptually to another product you may have seen called the Smart Espresso Profiler. But um, essentially this does exactly the same thing as an SEP. And I've always wanted to have an SEP, but for me the, um, the cost of an SEP was just a little too high for me to swallow. Uh, along with this particular Popsicle, there, you also have to have some paired software. And another thing I can show you here is the software integration with Bean Conqueror. So today what I wanted to show you is just basically a shot from the future because this popsicle pressure transducer is still in the early development phases. I know there are plans to release the code and the, the kit so you can build one yourself. And along with that, the integration of the pressure transducer and the scale are also kind of in a beta testing phase for Bean Conqueror. But yeah, so far I've really enjoyed using this combination of the Bean Conqueror, this smart scale, this pressure transducer called the popsicle and this direct lever, the Gianni, in combination because it's just a nice overall package. It gives you something like you would get out of a decent, but you know, with this direct manual feedback, when these do become available to the public, like the Bean Conquer software update or the pressure transducer itself, then I will leave a link in the description uh, to where you can get more information on, on how to build or, or buy one of these things. So, um, what I want to do today is just get these things connected and then prep a puck and pull a shot just so you can see what it looks like when you um, pull a shot. So today, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep a puck with this sold in banana. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is actually make some custom water for this shot. And what's nice about the Gianni and other open boiler machines like the Flare 58 is that you can use um, salts that contain chlorides like this calcium chloride or this mag magnesium chloride. And the reason you don't want to use chlorides in your you know, more expensive stainless steel boiler machines is that chlorides will actually corrode your stainless steel. Whereas you know this open boiler, it doesn't get quite as hot and um, the contact time is lower. So it's just a lot safer to be able to use these kind of interesting waters without having to worry about damaging your, your machine. So if you're curious about how to make custom water concentrates or how to mix them, I have another video on that and I'll leave a link to it. Uh, and I'll leave a link to it in the upper right. So I'm going to start with uh, 20 parts per million of calcium chloride. And I'm going to make 250 grams total. So I'm just going to get this up to about 0 0.5, 0 0.5 of magnesium chloride. And then for my bicarbonate, I want to get 40 parts per million. So I'll use one gram of this. And I'll just dilute this down to 250 grams. So now what I can do is just start boiling this water. So I'll be back once this is hot to prep the puck and then we can pull a shot. Okay guys, so you can see that the PID is now reading 93.7. It's overshot a little bit, but that's the temperature of the water inside the boiler on this Gian Yi. All right, so let's get a little bit of a better angle here. And I can show you what it's like to pull a shot using the Gian Yi. First, let's get our portafilter in. Snug it up. Get our cup in place. And then um, here I have Bean Conquer. I've already added a brew and this is the actual graph where the pressure and the weight will, will be graphed in real time. So 
let's tear our scale. Perfect. And then um, I'm just going to lift this lever. And that's going to put water into the boiler of the Jianyi. And I'm going to shoot for about a one to two and a half. So about 40 grams out. So let's do a little bit of a pre-infusion and take it up to about six bar. Start to taper off the pressure a little bit until we get close to 40. And then quickly swap our cups. And like with any other manual lever, you just have to um, swap the cut out when you're done. So uh, we can save this brew. And in Bean Conquer, you can see that it's saved successfully. And you can always go back and look at your particular profile. So that's the Jian Yi. Pull this nice, beautiful espresso. And someday soon, hopefully, other people will be able to to make this sort of pressure device and basically attach it to any machine that you'd like. And with the integration in Bean Conquer, you basically get decent like telemetry, not repeatability, not ability to run profiles you know, repeatedly, but you will be able to measure them pretty easily using just the popsicle, um, a smart scale like this and the Bean Conquer software. So really excited to give you guys a sneak peek of this mod and hopefully uh, someday soon this will be available for the general public. All right. More content coming soon. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks.